Good morning, everybody. My name is Michael Fox, and welcome to my Final Fantasy XIV Amazon crossover free DLC giveaway uh, walkthrough, in a sense. So, um, last year, um, Square Enix partnered with uh, Amazon.com to do uh, a giveaway of some DLC. You remember from last year, it was the, um, they were the white fat, the white fat chocobo, the, the maid, and the butler attire. Um, and then some, I think, in a, a freak mask and a titan mask is what they gave away last year. Um, and the way it worked, a lot of people were really confused. A lot of, like, they didn't understand how everything worked. They were just like, oh, I have to go spend 20 bucks on Amazon, and then I get this free stuff. That's not exactly how it works. And because I deal with, uh, like, looking at Amazon and price matching Amazon on a daily basis at my job, I figured I would do this video because, like, I knew exactly how proceed with it and I knew exactly kind of what to look for and a lot of people didn't um, and I saw a lot of people frustrated last year and I'm already seeing some of these people some the same frustrations from a lot of people as well uh, so I figured I would I would go through some stuff and try to help help people out um, I've been waiting for this like forever um, the one the one thing I've always been wanting um, from because some of the Korean servers and stuff, they get a lot of exclusive items, and we're finally getting those exclusive items. Um, last month, I want to say last month, um, in Japan, the Japanese players started getting some of these uh, through a 7-Eleven collaboration. Same th that's how they they also, last year, did the um, collaboration for the, the other DLC that I was just talking about that they did with the North American players for Amazon. Um, to get these same DLC items from the the European, the EU uh, servers, if you're playing on an EU server, you had to do this weird magazine thing. I don't know a lot about it because I didn't have to go through it because I play on a North American server because um, I'm here in the States. But I know you had to like, you just get like three magazines and then in some cases wait for them to arrive at your house and then like you had to take out these three cards and send like a picture of those three cards to an email and then they would send you a code like it was it was such a weird convoluted thing it sounded terrible and it sucks because i like i don't know what they're gonna do for the the eu players this year for this dlc uh, like the amazon thing is only for north american players and i did i did see somebody like wondering, like, hey, I live in Canada, I usually have to shop on Amazon.ca for Canada. Is this the same thing? That I don't know, unfortunately. Like, um, I'll point out a couple things on Amazon.com's website, what you need to look for in order to get the DLC, basically. Um, and if it doesn't say that on the Canadian version of Amazon.com, maybe you maybe try to purchase from the regular Amazon.com? I don't know if that works or not. Um, That'd be something you might have to poke around for more. That's just the one thing I, I don't know, unfortunately. Uh, but we're gonna go through like so back to sorry back on topic. Um, this the the eastern the eastern gear basically. So the thing I really have cared about is the freaking cloud mount. I know it's not originally from Dragon Ball, but I'm a huge Dragon Ball fan. I know Dragon Ball is based on Journey to the West, um, and that's kind of where the the flying cloud came from. But I'm so so happy that it's finally. I waited over a year for this damn mount, and I'm, I'm getting it today. I'm freaking ecstatic. So some of the DLC you can get. So you get this cool pole um, that's also there. You get 50 Atherite tickets, which is pretty badass. The Eastern Gear, let me zoom in on these. Uh, the Eastern Gear attire, and then of course the mount. Holy crap. Uh, so Square Enix does their codes, their promotional codes, really weird. So they did the same thing with like the... The DLC and early access for Stormblood, which is coming out in June. Like you have to, you get the promotional code. You go to this promotional website, put in the code, get another code to put that into the Mog Station. And I'll kind of go through that guy with you guys as well. So, um, what we're gonna talk about first: um, Amazon promotional codes can only one per customer. So, um, like both my wife and I have Amazon different Amazon accounts, so she's gonna have to make a separate purchase on on her end, basically. Um, they're doing it a little bit differently this year because I know like you could pre-order and they would immediately send you that code, but last year people were like pre-ordering stuff, getting the code, redeeming it, and then canceling their pre-order. Um, so 
they did it a little bit differently this year with that to kind of combat that. So customers who pre-order digital or physical video games will receive their redemption codes once the game is live and or ships. So don't pre-order like Final Fantasy VII Remake or something uh, because you're, you're not going to get those codes until the game is released, basically. Um, and that, that's fine with me because, like, I mean, it sucks for people who weren't like, people who are, like, decent people and not doing that cancellation thing. Like, that sucks, and I'm sorry, you guys, that's just how it is. But you'll have, if you want the code right now, you'll just have to, you'll have to buy something that, that you, you can get right away, basically. Um, blah, blah, blah. I can't believe, like, just some basic stuff in here. Um, codes don't expire, so the Amazon promotional codes, so. Um, this is going to be the biggest thing. Offer applies only when shipped and sold by Amazon.com. Um, and I'll show you guys what I mean by that. I just, I kind of just went through and kind of found some, some games that I might have been interested in. There's, there's more than this. So basically you have to spend $19.99 or more. And it could be a combination of anything in that's video game, uh, that's video game stuff. Like accessories and stuff work too. Like last year I think I bought like Resident Evil 6, which came out to about like 18 bucks or something. And then I threw on an Amiibo. Um, and I got my DLC code. So. You could do a combination of anything. I I would be very like because there was another game. There was Ratchet and Clank on here for like nineteen dollars and ninety three cents. That's a little bit short. So like I would not. I would just make sure it's it's twenty dollars or more, or at least nineteen ninety nine exactly or more. Shh. Shh. I know you're waiting. I love you. Just go play. So here's what you're gonna look for. There's two really big things. There's a lot of what we call third-party sellers on Amazon, um, and like anybody could sell anything on Amazon. Like I could, I could sell Paper Mario Color Splash, and it could be Mike Mike's discount deals on Amazon.com, right? So what you're gonna look for is in this area here. See here it says ships and sold by Amazon.com. It does say exclusively for Prime members, so I can't buy this because my account's not a Prime member, which kind of sucks. I've been running into that a lot this morning, and it's kind of frustrating. But this, if you have Amazon Prime, you can get this. It's 40 bucks, so that will qualify you. And then once you scroll down here, it's going to be, let me zoom back out to the pages like a normal. So you screw back out um, under special offers and promotions right here. I'm going to zoom back in on this so we can all, we can all read this good. Um, any video game purchase of $19.99 or greater on Amazon.com will qualify you for an Amazon promotional code that will grant you three exclusive pieces of DLC from Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood. Here's how restrictions apply, blah, blah, blah. So those are the two things you have to look for. They have to be like, so if you're buying two items at 10 bucks a piece, right? Like say two Amiibos for $10 a piece, each of those Amiibos has to say that shipped and sold by Amazon.com and under this promotional thing, they have to say the promotional thing about Final Fantasy XIV. Like, so that is the, the biggest thing you gotta look for. I was also looking at, and then I'll show you the opposite, and kind of how to maybe combat that and see if you can find it from Amazon. So, as you can see here, this one, this guy says sold by Pro Games USA at fulfilled by Amazon.com. This is not something that would work. So, even though it says fulfilled by Amazon.com, it's gotta be that shipped and sold. Because if we scroll back down here, I don't even think this has any. Uh, oh, it does have some special promotions. Stay big on open box use products, blah blah blah, could be it's some different things, but how you see, it says nothing about Final Fantasy XIV, which, so this game, this game would not work. This game would not work for you to be able to buy this and then get the DLC. However, there's an option here, as you can see it says, um, other sellers on Amazon.com, seven blah blah blah, used, used and new from about 27 bucks, right? So, you can come into this page, over here on the, the far right, this is your seller information. So you can scroll down and you do see that, oh look, 30 bucks, Amazon.com is actually selling this. So this one, this one would work. And you can go, how to like confirm it, for sure, you click on add it to your cart, right? Go into your cart, um, and it'll be on your shopping cart. You can actually click on this now. And it'll bring you to actual Amazon. So now you see how it says shipped and sold from Amazon.com, gift wrap available, blah, blah, blah. Scroll down here. A video game purchase $19.99 or more, grant you DLC items for Stormblood. 
So that's how you do it. So um, that's the biggest thing. Just make sure that it says that. Like, because it's, it's not going to work, and you'll be up a creek without a paddle, basically. Uh, and you'll be sad, and you'll be wondering where your Amazon codes are, and they're not going to come. Because you didn't look careful enough. Uh, so on on the, the Stormblood free DLC giveaway thing, uh, it says once you have your code, once you have your code, visit the Campaign Redemption website to receive your in in-game item code. So I don't know why, like, I don't know why they just don't have Amazon just send you a code you can put into the Mog Station, but it is what it is. So you can click on this Redemption website, right? Um, and then it'll have you put in the code from Amazon, whatever it is, boop, 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 right? And then your email address. You click Submit, you'll get another email with codes that you can put into uh, your Mog Station. Mog Station. Um, and then I'm sure a lot of you have probably um, added items um, to your accounts before. There's, there's just a. Oh, I can log in here real quick. So once you get logged into your Mog Station, basically, so you have your, you went to the, you got your code from Amazon. You bought the right stuff from Amazon, right? That's number one. Amazon sent you an email with a code. You come to this website, which you can find on um, the the post for the free DLC stuff. That's going to email you a Mog Station code. So you're going to come into your Mog Station and just click on Optional Items. Or is it Optional Items? No, it's not Optional Items. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. It's, uh, it's in here. Uh, enter Item Code. So on your service account, I have two for some reason. I think it was like a weird 1.0 mix up, but you probably should only have one. Most people only have one. Um, enter Item Code. Um, and then you're gonna you're gonna enter that code basically that you just got from the mog <clears throat> that you just got from the, the second email that you got from the promotional website. That code you're gonna enter in on the bottom there, and boom, you're done. You should be able to just uh, log into Final Fantasy 14, and they should be sitting in your mailbox for you, all good to go. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, hopefully that helped you guys out, so uh, you can click and buy the right stuff from Amazon and have headache free getting this cool DLC. Uh, I don't know what they're gonna do for the EU players yet. Like, I haven't seen anything. If you guys know what's happening with that, uh, let me know in the comments below. I haven't even checked any of the um, the forums this morning. Shh. I haven't checked any of the forums this morning to see if, like, if that's going on. I hope to God they don't do that magazine bullshit with you guys again. Like, that really sucked. Um, good luck to everybody. Enjoy the DLC, and if I got anything wrong, please let me know in the comments below. And if you kind of like, if you're not, if you don't live in the United States, but you're a North American player, and there's there's something different that you guys have to do, please let me know in the comments below to that as well. Um, that way, like, if a lot of people watch this video and they're getting some use out of it, like, then they will be able to um, get more use out of that and get help from you as well. Again, thanks guys so much for watching. Until the next video. Please be kind to each other, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.